All right. Well, we were just experiencing some colder temperatures, a little bit of sunshine, and mm -hmm. now we're talking about snow. Ah, coming. It's a word we haven't said in a while. Yeah, but we're, we're talking about it for the passes. For the passes. Higher elevations, not the lower ones. Let's be clear, yeah. for the passes. But <laughs> hey, if you're doing pass travel this week, yeah. you will feel the impacts of this snow. And everybody will feel something. It's rain for the lowlands, it's snow for the mountains. So get ready, we have a pretty potent winter storm mm -hmm. heading our way, even though it is still fall. Let's take a live look outside Queen Anne camera showing a mild night. Enjoy it, 52 degrees is what we're feeling right now. And it was a really pleasant day today. I hope everybody did enjoy it because these next couple of days we will see changes. Into tomorrow, it's going to be a transition day. It'll be mostly cloudy. We could squeeze out a few very light sprinkles, but overall, tomorrow should stay mild, but we have increasing rain chances Tuesday and into Wednesday as well. Those are the problem days that I'm watching. Mountain snow looks potentially light tomorrow night. Just a few flurries possible. Heavier snow Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. So let's first look at the freezing levels. We can see exactly why we would see that past snow because freezing levels drop down to about 1500 feet by Wednesday. Remember snow Kwame right around 3000 feet. Stevens Pass right around 4,000 feet. So yes, both of those passes are impacted as we head into the next couple of days. Tomorrow, it's a transition day. We'll wake up to a little bit of cloud coverage, maybe a few raindrops on your windshield, but not going to be impactful. By the afternoon, we actually could see the sun peek out a little bit. Get out and enjoy it because the changes do arrive overnight. Uh, by Tuesday, early, early in the morning, a few flurries possible over the mountains, but not going to be anything impactful. It's Tuesday morning that we start to see that push for rain. It's going to impact the coast first, the Olympic Peninsula, Tuesday morning. Daytime hours Tuesday, that fills in. It does look like we'll see a pretty wet day Tuesday. Then by Tuesday evening, that's when we're going to start to pick up some of that past snow. It's rain for the rest of us. Then into overnight Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, same thing. We're going to continue to just pile that snow on. So anywhere from about half a foot to even upwards of a foot of snow possible for the highest elevations over the Cascades. Then Wednesday afternoon evening, Evening, we start to calm down a little bit. Temperatures are going to be cool during this time frame. Heading into tomorrow, daytime highs peaking in the mid to upper 50s. Then we see those temperatures drop even more as we head into the next couple of days. We peak in the upper 40s through about Saturday. We do dry out for the end of the week, but Tuesday and Wednesday, be careful out there. It's looking like it's going to be sticky for everybody.